In this video, we're going to have a look at some of the ways in which Microsoft Azure can help you analyze your images. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. So, computer vision allows you to analyze images and there's no need to set anything up to use it apart from the computer vision resource itself. So, here I am in portal.azure.com and I can just type in computer vision and I can create a new computer vision resource. I can also use any of my existing ones, but I'm going to create a new one for the purposes of this video. So I'm going to put it into whatever subscription I want and a resource group. So I'll call it YouTube and give it a name. So again, I'm going to call it YouTube and a pricing tier. So you can have one free resource which has limitations, but they're not very onerous limitations. They're enough for you to be able to try, or you can pay for it. And I will be paying for it in this particular video because I've already used my free tier. I'm going to leave everything else as is and just click on review and create. And you can see I've missed something. There's a big X. I need to scroll down and check this box, which says I've reviewed both of these and I have in the past. So now I'm going to click on create once the computer has gone through what I've put in and seen, okay, this makes sense. And now the computer is creating my computer vision resource. And here you can see in that small amount of time, it was complete. So I'm going to click on go to resource and then click on go to vision studio. So here I am in the Vision Studio, portal.vision.cognitive.azure.com. And for my image analysis, I can do various things such as recognize products on shelves, search photos that have previously been uploaded and add dense captions and captions. So let's just have a look at what we can do. First of all, recognize products on shelves. Make sure that this check box is checked. I acknowledge that this demo will incur usage. And then I'm going to click on some of the sample images. And you can see the computer has identified individual products on a shelf. Now, if you think that's not good enough, you need to know what the actual products are. Don't worry, we will be looking at how to use a custom vision resource later on in this video. We've also got search photos with image retrieval. So I'm going to have a look at a sample image set of manufacturing and I'm going to look for solar panels in the desert. And here you can see several of them. Of course, there needs to be a way for the computer to be able to put this caption. And this is what add captions to images does. So instead of you having to put on the caption of a baseball player holding a bat, a man jumping on a skateboard, you can ask the computer to do this. Need more captions? Well, this is when you can use dense captions. So this not only looks at the entire image, it also looks at up to 10 different parts of the image. So the entire image is a woman wearing a mask sitting at a table with a laptop. But here you can see some of the components of that image, including the words colourful fabric face mask. You can also remove backgrounds from images. So for example, we have got an elephant here in grassland. So we can remove the background or we can just say, where is the foreground? So that is alpha mat or foreground matting. We can identify common objects in an image. So here we can see footwear, person, laptop, seating, person, person, seating, and table. And you can see the confidence how confident it is that it has got it right. We can extract text from images and that text can be printed. It can be at a slant, as you can see here, but it can also be handwritten. You must be the change you wish to see in the world, exclamation mark. We can extract common tags from images. So if I click on this, it says it is clothing, train station, metro station, train transport, metro. Click on this and we've got text, wheel, outdoor, bicycle wheel, and so on. 
we can also create smart cropped images. So instead of having the full image, why not have a smaller version and concentrate on people's faces? So we can either have the image going portrait or landscape or square. Now, when we looked at the products, it was only enough to be able to say, yes, there's a product, there's a product, there's a product. We couldn't actually say which were the individual products. Well, this is something you do with custom vision. So if I go to customvision.ai, I can create a new project, either saying, okay, I want to know where the objects are, or I want to classify the entire photograph either once or multiple times. And these are some of the domains, some of the models that it already knows about, like food, for instance. So if I click on a model that I previously created, this is all about tea. And if I look at the images, you can see that they have up to three different types of tea. So I could add more images to this model by clicking on Amped Image. So if I go to a folder and click on a particular image, so I can say upload this file. It might also ask me for tags if I'm tagging the entire photograph or once or multiple times. So it is uploading that image and you can see the image has been uploaded successfully. So I need to tag where the objects are. So I'll click inside of it and I'll just hover over the images. I could also draw where my images are, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to delete that. And I'm going to hover over the cinnamon and you can see the computer said, there's probably an object right there. So I can just click on it and say, this is cinnamon, this is rose, and this is mint. You need a minimum of 15 photographs per label. So you can see that I currently have 17, 19 and 19. So I can then train this model. This will take anywhere from 10 minutes to several hours. Once it's trained, I can see how good a model it is for its performance. So it then feeds itself the images from previously and goes, okay, how good was it? And you can see this one is fairly good. And then I can ask it to make predictions. So if I do a quick test and I upload another image from my folder, the computer is then going to analyze this image and say where it thinks the objects are. And here you can see it has got a prediction of mint, 99.9% .9 possibility, rose, 99.9%, and is this cinnamon or is it mint? It's not entirely sure about that. But you can see from doing this, that this is a way to train the computer to be able to say this is not just a product, but this is Doritos red party size, for example. So these skills are ones which are tested in the Microsoft Applied Skills credential called Build an Azure AI Vision Solution. So you'll be asked to create a computer vision resource, analyze images, create a custom model, train and evaluate the model and consume it. By consume, we just mean use. Now it needn't just be through this GUI, this graphical user interface, it could also be using code in C Sharp or in Python. Now, if you'd like to learn how to analyze your own images, then you could take this Microsoft learning path. Do bear in mind that the modules in this learning path have not been specifically designed for this Microsoft Applied Skills credential. For example, we have Analyze Video. You'll notice that the tasks performed are all about images and not video. So just bear in mind the overall requirements if you do go down the Microsoft learning path. Alternatively, I hope you'll consider joining me in my course about this Microsoft Applied Skills, Build an Azure AI Vision Solution. So in around two and a half hours, we'll look at how we can create a computer vision resource and analyze images just like we've done quickly in this video. We'll also look at creating and training a custom image analysis model other AI vision features and how to analyze images using C Sharp and Python. There are practice activities and also a quiz for testing how well you can remember the code that you need. By the end of this course, with some practice, 
you should be in a position to take and hopefully pass the Microsoft Applied Skills Assessment. And at the time of recording, that assessment is completely free. So I hope using artificial intelligence to analyse images is something that might be useful. And I hope that you will consider taking our brand new course to help you prepare. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then why not like it? And why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. There are plenty of videos either now or coming up on this YouTube channel about the Microsoft Applied Skills. So why not subscribe to keep up to date? And there'll be a playlist about Microsoft Applied Skills at the end of this video. So why not click on it to find out more? I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.